Hello, everybody. How are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. If I sound a little upset, <laughs> that's because I have been trying for about four hours to get this game to work on my machine. <clears throat> I downloaded it when it became available. I launched it because I was like, oh, I should better, I better make sure this game works before I stream it tonight. And I was experiencing constant stutter. I could not fix it. Nothing worked. Changing graphics settings. Uninstalling every single graphics driver I've ever had and reinstalling them using a program that scrapes out like all the useless junk. Nothing. Updating Windows. Nothing. I, and then, you know what worked? Oh, of course. I just go play some Valorant for like an hour or so. And then, when I try it again on a whim, it works. Computers are literally witchcraft. I, I don't understand that. I'm not happy. But I think once I get into the game, I'll be happy again. It's good to see you, Kat. Hope you're doing well. Uh, lovely druid streamer. We're all eagerly anticipating your next stream of... You f did you finish um, Red Alert 3? I don't remember. But I know you're also doing some Anno uh, 2070, so... We're all eager to see what you do next. But enough dilly-dallying, let's get into it. I'm so excited that this game has suddenly decided to start working. And I'm gonna be really I'm gonna be really upset if after all this effort that I've gotten into uh um doing this again, it just suddenly I don't know. Ah, let's hope it works. Fingers crossed, everyone. Did they do a hotfix or does the machine spirit just like you again? I didn't see any download, so I'm assuming it's just the machine spirit likes me. Again, I, I don't know. You finished the Soviet campaign. Oh, nice. Any plans to do the other two? Or do you only have eyes for Tim Curry? In which case, very understandable. Let's get to it. Okie dokie. Everything works. I was experiencing, like, constant stutters. Like, I would push the button and, like, nothing would happen, and then about a couple seconds later, it would just, like, go all the way down to the bottom. It's so annoying. <laughs> but we're good now, so... I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, do let me know if it doesn't look like it is working well for you. I haven't really felt like doing the others. Totally fair. Um, but yeah, do let me know if the stream is hitching or anything, because uh, it doesn't really appear on my, on my, on my display. But um, I think just because the game might be set at a different priority than OBS, it seems fine. Okay, I'm I'm more worried about when we actually get into the game. Delete this game and start a new game. Yes, please. All right, here we go. to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human C4621 has awakened. Time to get to work, 621. down your entry capsule on my signal.
descent to ISB 2262, Rubicon 3, complete. Your position is grid 135. Off target, but within permissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. System. Activating combat mode. First of all, in the excitement, I forgot. I realized I forgot to. Uh... Oh, Red Rooster Dad, thank you so much for the raid. What were you up to today? Oops. No, no, no. Please don't type out shield mode. Oh, you were also playing some Armored Core 6. Awesome. I hope you had a great time with that. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Soroka, the Magpie Treasure Hunting Beekeeper, and today we're playing Armored Core 6. Uh, just starting? Yes, I have been trying since the game unlocked about four hours ago to get this game to work. I was having really, really bad stutter, and nothing I could do seemed to fix it. Um, and then I went and played Valorant for an hour and came back, and suddenly the game worked, so... Yeah, we, we basically just started. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate that. How far did uh, you get? Oh, uh, you know what would be smart if I went and remembered to... Uh, what is it under? Input device. There we go. Pad. I got to the wall, the, the boss that everyone's talking about. Oh. I hope you got good luck uh, defeating it later. I keep pushing that button expecting it to be boost, but it's not. It's circle. Okay. I mean, I did beat it eventually. Nice work! Well, there you go. Now you've got the whole rest of the game to go. Reticle automatically targets on-screen enemies. When there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center of the screen will be prioritized. Move the camera to change the priority target. Clear out those guard mechs. Perfect chance to test your AC. Have you played any other ACs? I played AC uh, for answer. So familiar with it, but the one I the one I played is was a uh, very quick. Target assist. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow. Francer is amazing. It is. Right shoulder weapon. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it just shot the ground right in front of me. Okay, multi-lock. There we go. Don't fall off, please. Here we go. Use repair kits to repair your AC and recover AP. AP repair kits can be used up to three times permission, but cannot be used in rapid succession. Gotcha. Your AC is taking damage. Patch it up. Okay. See the contaminated city down there. That's where you're landing. All right. Access the catapult. Just kind of looking over the other control schemes, seeing if I want them more. I don't know. Hard to say. I feel like I kind of want. What's the difference between the two? A oh, shift control. C circle and triangle. Yeah, let's do Type C. Let's give Type C a try. Let's see if I'm feeling a bit better about. Okay.
Hmm, interesting. Yeah, sure, let's give this a try. I feel like this might not be the thing I want. You know what? Actually, I'm thinking about it more and I'm like, I'm gonna get confused. Let's go with Type A. Here we go. You have to activate three times because I keep missing. Are you just going too fast, or or what? Oh, we're up right in a mech without a license. All right. <laughs> Time to rob the dad. Whoops. Quick boost. Okay. Assault boot is cell three. After rapid approach target. During boost, cancel assault boost. Picking up signals from AC Rex. Follow the markers. Did you hear anything about what the corpse are up to? Yeah, they'll be coming soon. Got us on the run. Is there under subtitles? Nope. Okay. I guess we can't. We don't get uh, chatter subtitles. Yeah, I don't know. Turn the glide boosters off, so just slide past them. Oh, oops. I think you just press circle again, don't you? in the middle is the closest. Let's head to the left first. Sure to do. Oh, hi. License code, Thomas Kirk. License code extracted from an AC wreck in the contaminated city. Contains the pilot's registration data. Registration number RB18. Call sign Thomas Kirk, rank 26E. Affiliation independent. License expired. This one's already expired. Hmm. Keep looking. On to the next one.
License code G7 Hakra. License code extracted from an AC wreck in a contaminated city. Contains the pilot's registration data. Registration number RB29. Call sign G7 Hakra. Rank 22D. Affiliation Balam Industries. License expires in 12 hours. Corp license. Easily traced. Forget it. What are these little drones? That's my bedtime, but you're just going to luck and have fun. Thank you so much. I hope you have a good night. License code Monkey Gordo. License code extracted from an armored core wreck in the contaminated city. Contains the pilot's registration data. Registration number RB37. Call sign Monkey Gordo. Rank unknown. Affiliation independent. License expires in 15 days. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. You kidding me? Vertical catapult. While standing on a vertical catapult, perform a jump to quickly reach high up places. Gotcha. Use that vertical catapult to get some altitude.
10%, huh? Great. Just great. Things aren't looking great. Whoops. Just dodged right into a bunch of missiles. This was not smart. That's not how you dodge. That's also not how you boost. 221 health. Living on a dream. Well. Tracking on my blade is not that good. I think the thing is, yeah, we got a checkpoint. I've got more repair kits than I started with, and I think our ammo's fully restored, so. Uh, this will be a lot easier now. And as far as I know, there's no downsides to restoring from a checkpoint. It's coming. Oh yeah, the missiles are so good at taking out stag uh, doing filling stagger. Use your mobility in the air to get clear of explosions on the ground. Come on now. There we go. Okay, now that I have like a bunch of missiles, I think this will be a lot easier. We got what we came for. Time to lose in six two one. Two repair kits remaining. Don't really want to be out in the open. Oh, that was really stupid of me. Really can't afford to be hit by that.
Hello, Shin. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. That was stupid of me. Resting as much as I can. I can't miss the Soroka core. Aww. Thought I'd slept through, but Soroka Gaming. I didn't actually start until about 40 minutes ago. Because I was desperately trying for like four hours uh, to get this game working. And until I played Valorant with Tasa, it just wasn't working at all. Uh, but it, ne it suddenly decided it wants to work now. So, yippee. Hello, speaking of. Good night, Tasa. You can rest and sleep if you get EP. This is true. That's it. Try accessing the rack. Okay, just need to not get hit by missiles. The thing that I did the first time around, but completely flubbed the second time around for some reason. Seven like because I haven't seen you for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's been so long since we've seen each other. Ran at myself out of boost. Okay, we're good. Alright, we should be getting a stagger on them soon. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Get out of there. Get out of there. Dumb idiot. Move. Got. Please stop buying Bucky over a stinger. Never. Explosive attacks have a blast radius. Wow, who could have ever seen that one coming? Ta I almost made that Bucky work. I, I don't like the stinger. I really don't. Warning, missile warning, warning, missile. <laughs> but enough about Ace Combat 7. Uh, what? this.
Am I out of missiles already? That's made my job a lot more difficult. Oh, no, I'm not. I just don't think I was close enough. I think I'm playing a little bit too safe with my weapon range. Watch out. It's a rocket's in the air. Staggered. Oh, yeah. Now it's rhyme time. There we go, only took me four tries. Confirmed. Heavy combat helicopter is down. That's all for our work here today, 621. Here's the call sign from that license you picked up. License code Raven. You know, I guess as Corvettes go, they're okay. I guess I can take this one. Bucky used to be a better than a judge. Good gun. Not right now. Oh, unfortunate. Make me want to play Lancer with you lots of mech on the mine lately. I I Lancer would be a lot of fun. Definitely gotta talk about that later. Nice mech being Soroka. Thank you. No License code extracted from an eight armored core wreck in the contaminated city. It contains the pilot's registration data. Registration name, number RB23. Call sign Raven. Rank F. Affiliation independent. License expires in three days. I'm not tabbed into the game, that's why I can't do any inputs. That's your new name here on Rubicon. And for those unaware, like all all uh, armored core pilots used to be called like Ravens. Like that's the the dealio. But I guess in the far flung future. Only this. Cold only one person has it. Lime substance discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, coral was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. However, on Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire. Uh, fire reference, Dark Souls, Hidden Connections. Registration number, RB23. Call sign, Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Might, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. Well, if you're going to twist my arm like that. Emblem acquired. Tenderfoot. This is BA pre-order bonus. Yay! Individual notification. Ensure that your build parameters are within the maximum weight. Yep, got it.
Okay, we don't have a lot. The Melander's C3 has more AP, less system recovery, and weighs more, and has a higher energy load. Interesting. Better AP, better attitude, attitude stability, which is the uh, stagger system. Generator output adjustment, we lower it by one. We increase the weight and increase the energy load. Interesting. And we don't, don't think we have any fire control systems or generators or anything. Oh boy. Oh wait, hold up. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh no. Is the sub? That's that. Oh, hold on. Is it a user color now? Now it's user color. Okay, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. <laughs> that was stream making her Mac pretty? No, I would never. device oh uh well it's got to be green right like it's got to be that Ooh, that's pretty we're definitely keeping that color too oh pat oh we can we have patterns oh fuck <laughs> uh none of these work very well weathering too. Oh, we could get real rusty with it. Oh, and then we've got the gunses, I think. Yeah, we can change the color of the guns. Oh yeah, you know I've got to do that. <laughs> Incredible. We'll leave everything as is for now. Say that it's a quit. Uh, where's the decal maker? There it is. Oh god, how do I do this? Oh. I see. Uh-oh. Okay. Can I copy this? L1 to copy layer. Uh, that does not look remotely centered. 
Is this actually transparency? Uh, how do I adjust the color? Layer controls? Toggle mask? The Pika decal, yeah. Is it possible to get like a half circle? It sure is. And then angle. And then I need to go to layer controls, move layer down. Can I adjust the color of something once I put it down? Invert? No. Whoops, I just reset. Is it really not possible to adjust the color of something once you put it down? I guess maybe not. Raven, your license expires in three days. <laughs> Damn, you gotta give- I gotta spend two of those days making the perfect emblem. Kind of staring over at Pika on my screen to try and get like an idea of what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Color is Sorka's beak. It's or not Soroka, Pika's Peak. Yeah. Can I copy a color? No. This doesn't look right at all. Don't use this. It's taken shape. Maybe the teardrop shape. I guess I could have done teardrop shape too. Where is that? Oh. Like either of these two would be perfect. I am a fool. It's not really a fleshy color. Wow, look at that. That's perfect. Get the shit out of here. What if you can import images? I imagine like you can't you can probably import like decals that people have made, but I can I kind of doubt that you can just like import whole images. Um games have moved away from doing that for understandable reasons. What are we gonna make the little feats out of? question. I have no idea. Oops. 
Oh, I wish I had remembered what that color was. What's this 114? Oh god, what's the opposite of 114? Uh, 7, nope, 60, 66. Alright, what do we make Pika's feet out of, though? Get them claws going. You know what? We're bringing this back. I have to remember what the color of this is. I can't select the color, can I? I don't know what the color is. Oh, this sucks. Time to guesstimate? I guess so. That's what we'll have to do. That's pretty close. Looks terrible. Oh god damn it. We're coming back to this later. Uh save and quit. Because I can come back and edit this, right? Yeah, I can. We'll use this for now, I suppose. And we'll come back and, and fix it later. <laughs> Look at the little scrungly. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we can save. I mean, sure. Just AC data one, why not? Okay, so I don't think we have access to the shop yet anyways, so there's no reason for me to start going um, and buying stuff. Let's go into training. Learn to pilot an AC and master fundamental battle techniques from the training menu. Complete the exercise using the training AC to earn standardized training parts to use for instruction. Kinda wish you'd given me this before I was launched out of a spacecraft, but, um... Alright, let's do it. To land shots of moving enemies, you must pull the trigger while they are within lock-off range. Where tracking is active. Oh, I see, okay. So only when the crosshair is directly on top of the AC and you're targeting reticle will your tar will your shots hit. So now they'll hit. No. 
closer we are, the better lock-on we have. And also we can adjust the, our fire control system. Okay. Weapons with magazines will automatically reload when the magazine's ammunition is depleted. Manually reload before engaging the enemy to minimize the risk your attacks will be interrupted by a reload. Triangle plus R2. Manual reload of the right-hand weapon. Neat. To use missiles and other homing rounds, keep the enemy on screen until lock-on completes, then fire. Some missile weapons are capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding the input for the weapon. R1 to use the right shoulder weapon. Hold R1 to use the right shoulder weapon multi-lock attack. Triangle during multi-lock. Cancel multi-lock. Okay, good. Melee weapons equipped to the left hand require a risky close range approach but have high attack power slash impact and are useful for destroying shields. L2 to use left hand weapon, L2, L2, left hand weapon chain attack, hold L2, left hand weapon charge attack. So one thing, I don't think it's going to be very, I don't know how useful it will be against the AI, but um, one thing that you can do is you can start a uh, melee attack, and then if you dash, it'll cancel it. Good for, like, freaking out opponents. Cool. You can detect nearby enemies or containers that hold AC parts by scanning. Any objects that were detected by the scan will be temporarily highlighted. If an enemy is detected, you'll be able to achieve lock-on even through walls or other cover. Neat. Really don't understand how you managed to lock the person that far away, but okay. Alright, new gun. That's it. That's it. Okay. Let's see how that gun uh, stacks up to our current one. Uh, it does way less attack power, way less damage, or um, less impact, but it is it weighs less and decreases our energy load. How much ammo does it have? Uh, oh, it has the exact same number of total rounds. No, we'll stick with our current one. Destroy artillery installations or grid 135 cleanup. Mop up Dafang MT squads deployed in grade 135. Destroy all Rubicon Liberation Front artillery installations. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Let's clean up some 135. comes from Schneider of the Archivist Group. The operation will take place in Grid 135, Southern Bellius. 
Your objective is to destroy an MT squad sent by Dafeng, a Balaam company, and a competitor. Grid 135 is a key foothold in Archibus's efforts to conduct a coral survey in the contaminated city. You, the independent mercenaries, are the key to maintaining our lead in the coral survey race. The Archibus group looks forward to news of your success. Okay. Briefing over, and happy hunting. Let's do it. Our assembly should be fine for this mission. MTs aren't particularly dangerous. You've got ID. Now you need a rep. Get their attention, 621. A lightweight shooter. Yeah, it is. Would be useful if we had, like, heavier uh, shoulder weapons or something. But we don't right now, so... No reason to use it over the other one. Commence mission. Wipe out the Dafang MT squad. No, we're back here. Enemy attack! What I think! Looks like the Archivist group hired some muscle. Independent mercenary, huh? At least they didn't send the Vespers. Intercepting! They're just mass produced MTs. Wipe them out, 621. This AC pilot's sharp. Focus your fire! Yeah, see, so sure if you just spot a bunch of missiles into a pipe. Oh, these are shielded. Not for long. Okay, if you destroy a target's shield, it does not damage their body at all, as far as I can tell. Uh, really don't know why I decided to push the button for a uh, missile attack there. It must have been the case that in Project Nimbus, my boost was on trigger or something, because I cannot think of another reason why I would be constantly pressing the trigger button so much. Commander Michigan needs to know what, that I'll send him to Detroit? Now we can buy parts. And a new exercise data was added to training. Sure. No, don't don't replay. 
I skipped through that. I really shouldn't because I saw something about S ranking. I think I get extra rewards for S ranking. Pilot a training craft to learn the basics of combat, training subjects, charge attacks, slash ACS, strain, and stagger, slash direct hits, slash ACS, accumulative strain, slash surprise attacks, slash shield defense, slash attack indicators and initial guard, slash assault boost attacks. Excellent. Some weapons are capable of charge attacks which exhibit different properties and behavior compared to regular attacks. R2 to hold use right hand weapon, hold R2 to right hand weapon charge attack. Triangle during charge will cancel charge. Oh, that's juicy. Oh, that's a fun weapon. I hope we get this. The ACS attitude control system of a craft can be compromised by accumulative strain from the impact of repeated attacks. ACS overload results in a vulnerable state called stagger, during which time the afflicted craft will be immobilized and susceptible to critical damage. Hold R2, right hand weapon charge attack, L2, use left hand weapon. During stagger, all incoming attacks are treated as direct hits and deal much more damage. R2 to use right hand weapon, L2 to use left hand weapon, R1 to use right shoulder weapon. ACS strain inflicted on enemies resets after a brief interval, but a portion of that strain will remain. Weapons vary in the amount of cumulative strain they inflict, with explosive impact generally leaving the most ACS strain. R1 to use right shoulder weapon. Okay, so they don't lose all of it completely. Neat. Attacks on enemies that are unaware of your presence will inflict greater ACS strain than usual. Oh, well, they're aware of me now, so not so much for that. Okay, so you can cancel, if you have a weapon that uh, that does the charge attack like that, you can cancel it. You will lose your charge, but if you decide that's the wrong moment to attack, you can cancel it out before it goes out. That's cool. Shields equipped to the left shoulder can be deployed to reduce incoming damage and ACS strain. Shield output is maximized for 1-2 to two seconds after deployment. Blocking during this initial guard window can help to minimize incoming damage and ACS strain. I don't know if I'm doing that right. Also good to know those things have shields. I was just kind of shooting and watching my shots deflect, and I uh, didn't put two and two together. During assault boosts, rush attacks, small arms that can be used during movement will inflict greater impact, and the impact you receive will be reduced. L3 for assault boost, R2 for using right hand weapon, and L2 for your left hand weapon.
And that's it. I want that rifle. There it is. It is a linear rifle. Ooh. High speed linear rifle developed by Balam. A special type of rifle that accelerates rounds using electromagnetic propulsion. Charging the weapon further increases round velocity, in turn increasing damage. So it is heavier. We lose 120 total rounds. We do do more damage, as well as a lot more impact damage. And our energy load increases pretty significantly. But we're still within acceptable parameters, so let's go ahead and set that on. And let's see what's in... Uh, none of these are the part shop. Burst rifle! No. Can be charged to fire burst shots. I hate burst weapons. Large caliber handgun. Hmm. Ooh. Bazooka. Interesting. And then instead of a sword, we could put another... A, um... Sorry, instead of a bazooka, we could put, like, another linear rifle. That would be kind of fun, but I don't think that's really worth it. So, missiles, shields, dual cell missile launcher. Traps targets in pincer trajectory, limiting evasive options. And this is what we already have. So, we could get a shield. A shield might be pretty handy. That, or buy another missile launcher. And there's also heads. Look at that stubby head. Stout tree, slender branches, philosophy. Neat. We lose a lot of stuff, but it is very, very light. Let's talk legs. We cannot talk about legs yet. Okay. In that case, uh, let's get a shield unit. Shield units are new to me, so let's go ahead and stick one on. I wish when you bought something, you could just immediately stick it on without having to go to the assembly. I think that's a little silly, but I don't make the rules. Destroy artillery, artillery installations in Southern Bellius. Destroy all Rubicon Liberation Front artillery installations. Extra reward based on number of enemies destroyed. Let's do it. Got a job for you, 621. This is an open call from the Balaam Group, one of the corporate forces occupying Rubicon. Attention all independent mercenaries! This request comes from our affiliate, Dafa. Rubicon Liberation Front has deployed Baos artillery throughout the contaminated city. The city itself has no strategic value, and we cannot allow them to hinder expansion of the Coral Survey. Show us your ambition. Destroy the Liberation Front's artillery. Bonus pay will be awarded for destroying their MTs. We want the enemy weakened. Consider it an opportunity to prove yourself. Mercenaries. My dude, you just have to pay me. You don't have to give me the pep talk, too. The client doesn't care who does this job. As long as it gets done. Two thousand four hundred bucks, not bad. There. That's one of the artillery placements. The front is protected with armor plating. Attack it from behind. 
Well, good thing I decided to come through the rear. Oh, they're not, they're not drones, they're helas. I'm just that big. Sneak attack Soroka, that's me, ow. Kidding me? Yeah, the linear rifle owns. Holy shit. I know I'm gonna like start missing shots when my enemies are like actually actively dodging, but hopefully remembering to reload cancel will uh, help. Wow, you must really hate your job right now, huh? Head to the final site. There, that culprit's dog. Don't give him another inch. We have to defend the artillery. Oh, that was foolish of me. Not going to get me twice. That was stupid of me. That was also stupid of me. Two repair kits remaining. Clear out the artillery here and our work is over. Fire! Surround that AC! What makes the Liberation Front strong? I'm a dummy. Okay, I need to stop fucking around.
Okay, I think we found enough of the MTs. Let's get out of here. Hello, Lily. Sorry, good to see you. Didn't see you come in. We basically just started. We just completed the first round of missions. Ammunition cost! Oh, I forgot I have to pay without expenses. I really have to start not fucking around. If I want to make any money. Discover and destroy targets marked with the log hunt target icon to obtain combat logs for submission. Collect combat logs and improve your hunter class to receive reward parts from all mine. Sounds good. Let's take a quick break, uh, and then we'll return and we'll continue on uh, the rest of the game. So, see you soon. Hello, I return. Didn't need to be gone that long. Uh, also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I did work on something this week uh, for the stream, and that is that little slideshow of fan art. So thank you all so much for all the, uh, the wonderful fan art that you have given me. I will add more as I go on, but I wanted to, because I wanted to put everybody's name on it so that I could properly credit you, it's going to take me a little bit to get those done because I'm lazy. Can I adjust? my emblem display license menu yes i can i just uh yeah armored core is basically a thing of armored mechs go pew pew because uh big corporations pay us to do so <laughs> excellent oh, okay we can look at all the stuff we've achieved here's a bunch of tips Thanks, Beth. Thanks, everybody. Um... Oh, wait, no. Image editor. Hold up.
Hold on. Hold on. This could work. They're not the right color because I forgot to do that, but you know, hey. We're making it work. Sort of. You can tell it's not aligned correctly. They definitely need to be right. They need to be rotated more. Fifty-four by twenty-eight. Okay. Uh, R one to select multiple. Manage all. Oh, I can't copy multiple layers. Boo. Boo. going in manual and <laughs> it's it's it worked kind of I don't know there we go let's widen this other clock too there we go much better And then just need a rear claw. Once again, I refuse to uh, pay attention to what color I'm using. Let's see if I can make this work. Uh, not like that. You're gonna need you're gonna need a straight line. How does one make a straight line, I say? It's staring directly at a rectangle. It just can't be done. I feel like I've completely lost the plot on the color that I was using. It's a straight East Bay go. That's as thin as we can get it, which isn't great. Well, that's also completely the wrong color, anyway. Uh, you know what? Let's just stick with this for now. Save and edit. Oh, and then I have to, <laughs> I have to update this. Wait, what? Edit emblem in use. Oh, here we go. I wonder if I have to... I do have to reset. Images from the in-use tab because... Oh, using image from the in-use tab because an image of the same piece composition has already been pasted. Fine. Fair enough. Okay, so we didn't really get access to too many other new parts and we're broke. Oh, we're not broke anymore. We can also sell parts if necessary, but... Uh, does that put us overweight? No, it does decrease our boost speed by one, though. That's not bad, though. Excuse me? Quick boost. Oh, that quick boost thrust is quite significant. Um... That's probably worth it.
Yeah, sure. Let's see if we can slap all those parts on. So first of all, let's start with the generator. Uh, and then the fire control system. So we look like we're good. All right. Let's give that a try. Also, the people will become more detailed each mission. There will be a masterpiece at the end of the game. Uh, I admire your faith in my abilities to make a good-looking image as Cat, but I think maybe that's uh, not going to happen. Destroy the Tester AC in the southern Bellius contaminated city. Destroy the Da Feng Core Industries Tester AC. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. The target may be a product sample, but it's still an AC. Stay sharp, 621. Let's just hope whoever's piloting it is uh, not a very good AC pilot. Just someone who can basically get it moving to the delivery site. We'll see, though. I misunder misunderestimated that track. Jesus, these missiles last forever!
I extremely misunderestimated how long those slow ass poor tracking missiles would be like alive for because holy moly Destroy the transport helicopters. Destroy all the Rubicon Liberation Front logistics helicopters. Extra reward based on number of enemies destroyed. Sounds simple enough. Got a job for you, 621. The Balaam Group sent a request. Raven, this request comes from Dafa, one of our affiliates. has committed to use of military force to handle the Rubicon Liberation Front. The target for this mission is a squad of transport choppers. Destroy them! You'll encounter guerrilla resistance from Baus Mass Produce MTs. They're no great concern. You performed adequately in your last sortie, Raven. This did not go unnoticed. We'll be watching with interest to see what you bring to the team. Here we go. Now they're asking for you by name. Keep building your rep. Check. Let's do a quick scan. No, nothing around here. All right. I was a little worried that like, um, like the transport helicopters would try and take off, which so is why I was trying to be like super sneaky, but it probably wasn't worth it.
There's something mean looking over there. Scared me there. One repair kit remaining. My children ammunition at fifty percent. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Impressively hard to stagger, though. We're not done here yet. Check your marker, 621. I'm aware. Hmm, damn, you did not say staggered for long. Damn, some of my shots are getting deflected. I don't think all of them are, but... I've gotta be a little bit more careful. Gotcha! Azure Estella, thank you so much for the raid. One moment, please. Oh, that's right, you're playing a uh, Doom mod. How did that go? Well, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Roka, the Magpie Treasure Hunting VTuber, and today like we are know. starting Armored Core 6, Fire Azure Rubicon. We've basically just started. Um, ooh, we're getting there, though. Uh, excellent. Nice. We've just started, and we're just kind of tackling some of the first couple of missions. 
Oh, but now it's time for a cutscene, so I'm gonna shut up. Well, 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 Handler Walter. The way your hound's been up in my business, I'm surprised you'd even dare to call. Michigan, about my proposal. Yeah, you sure about that? I'll be working your hound just as hard as any other red gun. Gen 4s can be emotionally withdrawn. They need a shot in the arm every now and then. Then you got a deal. I'll send Volta to Guasu. They'll give your latest hound a proper red gun welcome. Interesting. Guess we're working with the red guns now. Played part of it on the hardest difficulty. It was amazing. Oh, that's so cool. I'm glad you had a lot of fun. One new message. Back, 621. The corpse see the Liberation Front as a hindrance to expanding their coral survey. But to the Rubiconians, your actions are only helping the corpse with their invasion. Yeah? It's just a job, 621. All of it. Same as it ever was. How much money do we have? We've got a pretty decent amount of money. Don't have enough for new legs, though. Their weight is balanced by heavy upper legs and lighter lower legs. That looks neat, but also kind of goofy. Mass produced by Pedal. And. Nuck. Nuck Reher. Reverse legs have better uh, jump. And not float, but in, like they can jump higher, basically. Uh, our, it would do, we are we'd have to get rid of something for our energy load. Nice color scheme, by the way. Thank you. I'm also a big fan of blue, white, and black. And I've been I've 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 been working on a custom decal. It's a little magpie pika. Very adorable. Very proud of it. Curious if I. Is there something I could use, make a bandage out of? There might just be. Well, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, good enough. And pink, can't forget. That's true. I do have the, the lovely pink linear rifle. It looks very fetching. What is happening? There we go. I feel like that looks wrong. You know what? I'll keep it. I'll just copy layer and move this one over this way. I'm not going to bother getting the angles right. We're just going to go by flow. Good enough. <laughs> We're working on the Pika thing just a little bit at a time. Colors by flow, the national anthem. Destroy the weaponized, oh, the weaponized mining ship. This is the real big, this is the like one of the showcase things. Showcase things. Weston Bellius, Bona Dea Dunes. Destroy the weaponized mining ship Strider, a key military asset of the Rubicon Liberation Front. 
this is like one of the big showcases. This is like one of the arms for it's of uh, for answer. All right, here's the pink gun. Uh, it's very, it's very nice. It's also a charge rifle, so you charge it up, and then you can shoot stuff for extra, for extra damage. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Just like you should smash the like and follow button. Hello, Mia. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. How's my lovely alchemist friend doing today? First, get through all that dust and make contact with the Strider. Ocean, thank you so much for the gift sub. Is this the right? Yes. Thank you, Ocean. My goodness. That's what I get for not paying attention. Picking up a surge of energy to the eye. Watch out. Burn you to ash. Yeah, you don't say. You just hit your own friend, dumbass. Alright, well, we're not starting this mission off on the best of, of, uh, of stuff here. Oh! <laughs> I did not expect that one. Alchemist friend is good. Good to hear. I dodged way too early. So they have, they have tracking on it. Like, if you dodge too early, they will just adjust it. Alright. Gotta pay more attention to the eye. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. First, get through all that dust and make contact with the strider. That identified AC. Must be one of the corporation's dogs. Watch the rocks. Here it 
comes the eye, do 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 do. Here comes the eye, and I say, do 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 do. Now you're up close and personal. Take out one of its legs and bring it to a halt. What? They evaded the eye's Back here, please. Please. That should do it, maybe. Okay, that was good. Checkpoint reached. Confirmed. Strider leg compromised. It's going down. Yippee! Sorry, I'm noticing. It's getting a little bit laggy when we look at that, for probably obvious reasons. Let's turn it down. There we go. That should be good. <laughs> Big Borbo. A bro, a robot. Sorry. Yeah, it does cause lag. Kind of a bore bow. Yeah. Uh, please keep going. There we go. That AC pilot's no rookie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Made it. Remember, we fight for the coral. Defend the sub generator. Uh, watch the eye. They are absolutely willing to just shoot their own ship to get to you. Fall. We cut through here? Yeah. Ooh wee. Got a little roasted by the uh, eye, but we're good. They are extremely willing to just cook their own ship. Alright, here we go. Just one left. Wait, what do you mean one left? God damn it. Yeah, I probably should have seen should have seen that one coming. All sub generators destroyed. Well the shield is offline. Have to <laughs> and hit the target. Oh. AP at 
Okay, I think I took damage, but it did actually put me back here, so that's kind of them. Ring out. That was unfortunate, but we, we're okay. We got a linear catapult here. Here comes the eye. Now you've got the target in your sights. Time to finish this six to one. Ooh, wee. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Okay, gonna move. Now you, uh, you have fun up there. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Yeah, how's your pride doing now, buddy? Remind me never to open my mouth ever again. Now you've got the target in your sights. Time to finish this six to one. I am such a dumbass. Damn.
Well, we're not going to get paid very much because I took a lot of damage that mission. Oh, well. Maybe next time I won't just stand and laser feel fire. We got a new. I don't think we got anything now. Attack the Dam Complex. Southern Bellius Scalia Dam Complex. Attack the Rubicon Liberation Front's Dam Complex and destroy all generator facilities. Accompanied by friendly craft. Ah, well, this should be easy then. Not a bad payout. It wasn't actually all that bad. Yeah, I think we just got a lot of money for destroying their little, like, weird flagship thing. We are now officially a Gunzes. <sighs> yeah, let's get a little bit more durability. Thank you, pre-order bonus. We're edging really closely to our available energy load. No, okay, we can't. Look at us now. Very cool. <laughs> Dead silence. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm paid to kill things, not to engage in company team building exercises. Leave me out of it. Please, as if a total amateur could not attack a stationary target.
That was really stupid of me. All right. Oh, hello. I don't think we're getting paid for cleaning up the other ones, so it probably was a waste of time, but whatever. Upward and onward. What the hell is this thing? Ah, who cares? Gaiman, that's us. He must be the handler, I presume, for the independent mercenary Raven. Honored to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. I understand you want to join Operation Wall Climber. You do realize that disposing of some Liberation Front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you meager dog-sitter. The answer is no. I hear you're deploying V-1 again. Must be rough only having one good pilot to rely on. Oh? Are you suggesting your dog can take Freud's place? You'll see. Just give us the chance. Very well, then. We're also deploying V4. Who's been equally brazen of late? Let's see how they both perform. Okay. I think this is, like, the end of Chapter 1. Uh, and this boss is apparently pretty rough. So we'll give this a couple attempts, but we might have to come back to it tomorrow. Lucky, Merc. You were the only warm body they could find. The red guns are going to be first over the wall. Have fun watching from the sidelines. But first, training. Su intermediate support, assembling an AC. Training subjects, double Traeger, boosters and mobility, generators and basic specs, FCS and engagement distances, AC assembly, and strategy. Alright. Let's take on some learning first. One way to assemble an AC is to install ranged weapons in both hands. This is known as the double trigger style among veteran pilots. Double trigger assemblies using machine guns or similar weapons can destroy enemies at a reliable pace and are suited for taking on multiple enemies at once. Hold R2 and L2, rapid fire both hand weapons. The mobility of an AC is greatly influenced by its overall weight and the type of boosters installed. 
This AC is fizzed with boosters that have a short QB reload time spec, which allows it to outpace enemies with consecutive quick boost usage. The generator installed to your AC greatly influences the rest of the assembly, from the selection of usable parts to the basic performance of the AC. This AC is equipped with a generator that prioritizes EN capacity in order to allow extensive use of aerial maneuvers and quick boosts. The FCS, Fire Control System, installed to the AC affects target tracking at close, medium, long range, and missile lock-on slash multi-lock time. This AC is equipped with an FCS that is specialized for close range combat, allowing it to reliably land attacks with its higher firepower weapons. It's like a shotgun. Oh no, never mind. It's a multi. It's a rocket launcher that fires multiple projectiles at once in like a spread. The weapons and selections of parts used to assemble an AC determines its ideal combat style and range. This AC is equipped with four ranged weapons to specialize in concentrated fire at medium range. Well, this video was a lot of fun. Although I imagine it can't take a lot of hits. A new booster, a new fire control system, and a new generator. Let's do the other training, though. Reverse jointed ACs. Reverse uh, training subjects, reverse joint parts, area attacks, weapon types, energy weapons, and overheating slash ricochets. Reverse joint legs excel at jumping and can quickly use the leverage their legs and can quickly leverage their leg strength to quickly 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 Reverse joint legs excel at jumping and can also leverage their leg strength to improve quick boosts. These leg units are capable of high jumps that do not consume EN, making it easier to achieve aerial retreats and shift to aerial combat. Oh, look at that. The left shoulder grenade cannon on this AC fires explosive rounds that cause area damage upon impact. When using weapons of this nature, you can exploit area damage to great effect by firing at the ground from an aerial position. Right, seeing as I imagine you don't have to stabilize yourself if you are uh, in the air. Except it's still reloading. Cool. Weapons fall into one of three categories depending on the type of damage they inflict. Kinetic, explosive, or energy. The defensive performance of armored cores and other craft varies for each of these damage types, determining their susceptibility or resistance. You've gotten too comfy and fallen asleep, no worries. Hope you had... Oh, that's a linear rifle, and that's an energy rifle. Energy weapons produce heat when fired, and this can ultimately result in overheating. When overheated, the weapon will be temporarily, temporarily disabled, but functionally will, functionality will be regained once the weapon has been allowed to cool. Avoid overheating by monitoring your rate of fire.
Okay, and the overheat gauge is... It's just right on top of the ammo counter. Cool. So the sounds of railguns is very clearly relaxing. It is. Ricocheting will occur when enemies have to high defense, significantly reducing the damage they take. To counteract this, try attacking at a closer range or switching to explosive weapons. Oh, okay. Mission complete. Got a laser handgun. Cool. Let's go to the parts shop. Ooh, shotgun. Unparalleled potency in close rank engagements. There's a laser rifle. Plasma rifle. Charge the weapon to cause fire to scatter, producing multiple explosions. That does sound pretty interesting. As a weapon with very high attack power, you only get 90 shots. So that's important to remember. The shotgun only has 66. But, of course, very high attack power and impact. So, again, something to think about. <sighs> Wondering if I should swap out my... I should swap out my sword for a Palsma gun. Maybe could, but I'd have to really be careful. Because I'd have to i I'd have to swap back parts. Let's see what else. Vertical plasma missile launcher. Overheated plasma explosions help to circumvent cover or similar defenses. The vertical trajectory of the missiles further hinders enemy evasion is capable of multi-lock. Also. laser cannon. There's no new generators to get. So we're just going to have to... We're going to have to do some modifications, it looks like. Uh... Yeah, something like that reduces our EN load by quite significantly, but it also really decreases our AP, and that's going to be really noticeable. That actually increases our EN load. That decreases it. That could be useful. System recovery. We lose a bit of weight. We lose a bit of EN load. This could be worth it, actually. Could get a laser rifle. I feel like the shield's actually, like, really pretty decent. Let's see if we can get the pulse, my god. On the AC. Uh, so first of all, swap to the VP44S. Okay, so we're over EN load. Uh, we are still over EN load. Yen recharge is pretty bad. What is this? Supply recovery. Yen output. So what's Yen recharge? The generator commences recovery after an Yen consuming action. Okay. Because that's the really nice thing about this generator, is that it we can. As soon as we basically hit ground, we start regenerating to full. But its EN output is very lacking. 
<sighs> We're still not there. Even with that, I think we're going to have to adjust the generator. Oh, wait, hold on. No, we'll stick with his legs. Okay. This looks decent to me. We don't have an expansion slot. We have some money. We don't have enough for a new core. And most of the legs that we can get access to, I think, would increase our EN... Yeah, they would increase our EN load. But it looks like we would still be in acceptable parameters. We would just be losing a lot of AP. Actually, no, we really wouldn't. These are apparently just strictly worse, oh, because they are a lot cheaper. <sighs> Could try reverse legs. Yeah, we're still within acceptable parameters, so that's good. Part shop, not part shop. I see design, paint, higher frame. Uh, that's arm, not arm net. Gotta have matching weapons. Let's take this on a test. Hello, Clan Spin. Sorry, I didn't see you come in there. I was too busy focusing on my build. What build you're running? Right now, it is a reverse leg build with a linear and plasma rifle. Ooh, that overheats quite quick, that quickly. Okay, and that will overheat the the thing. Okay. Whoops, that was really... This could work. This could work. We could make this work. I think before I do, though, I'm not. I don't know that I'm sold on plasma cannon plus linear rifle. I think if I'm gonna just stick with the linear or the uh, plasma cannon, I'm really gonna want. Um, I'm really gonna want a different type of rifle. Although I want. Double laser. 
requires a burst when charged. Could go back to a rifle. Uh, kind of flat ass broke. How much impact damage does this do? Pretty decent. I mean, I could just stick with the linear rifle and then just, like, not. I just not always charge it up. If maybe I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna take another quick break. Uh, just like a one or two minute break, and then we'll be back and we'll attempt Operation Wall Crawler. So, see you in a few. Hello, I return. <laughs> Lane and Stroke on Jack's shoulders for the chaos name. I forgot about that image. It's so good. I really wish Stranger Paradise had worked out, but it unfortunately did not. But thank you so much for welcoming me back. Uh, how much EN? No. Let's give this a try. We'll see how this works. Operation Wall Climber. Assault Front or Central Bellius, Liberation Front Fortress, The Wall. Assist the assault on the Rubicon Liberation Front Stronghold and destroy the Juggernaut Heavy Mobile Artillery Platform. Mid route rendezvous with friendly craft. X rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. That's simple enough. Let's do it. Volta. All right, here we go. Your objective is to take the Liberation Front Fortress, the wall. 
Yes, I did actually listen to the briefing. Show them you're worth the credits. Six, two, one. All right, here we go. Murph the Sewing Club. Damn. Guess we're gonna have to find a different hobby. Main system activating combat mode. Commence mission. We'll start by clearing the way for Archibus. Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city and the Bows Tetrapod MT further in. Heavy fire coming from up to the Six two one. Keep an eye out for cover. You'll never climb a wall, Corporation Dark. Well, we're starting out well. That was stupid of me. Gotcha. Raze, thank you so much for the raid. One moment, please. And I'll get ya. Thank you so much for the shout out. You were doing some Phasmophobia. Nice. I know that that game recently got an update, so I hope you're having a lot of fun with it. Access the bulkhead and break into the wall. 
thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Roku, the Magpie Treasuring TV Tuber, and today we are playing the latest release, Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Might as well take care of a couple of these artillery things, get a little bit of extra money. Super fun update, I'm in love. Oh, that's really good to hear. Oh yeah, that thing I absolutely did not design my AC for? Gotcha. Boom. All right. Off we go. There should be a lift nearby. The target is close. All right. Off we go. Also, this is our mech, our armored core. I've currently built it for kind of like mid-range combat. We've got very jumpy legs and some very accurate rifles, as well as a shield and some missiles. I keep forgetting to use the shield every single time I remember I have it, but uh... Oh, a Sherpa! I don't think I hit the Sherpa. I think I just went straight for the... I didn't know where it was! Oh well. Interesting. You ready to climb the wall? I guess so. That's the juggernaut. Heavy mobile can. I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. Trust me, I had no plan. Die. That did pretty good damage. Out of 
great. Not going great. Uh, 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 nope, not what I meant to do. Much better. Stupid of me. This sucks. Really regretting taking the sword off this build. Also, maybe just realize that he launches mines. Are you fucking kidding me? Ran out of boost juice at just the wrong moment.
smack right into me there, huh? about 45 seconds yeah this looks so good it's so good i'm so happy i finally got it working i was having a really hell like a hell of a time getting it to work earlier today There we go. Charge up the big shot. Fuck you. No, oh, don't get crushed, idiot. Yeah, what did I say about that? Is this mech customized? It sure is. I customized it for, like, jumping in the air and firing from above. Which is working. It's just kind of obnoxious, because I, I can only attack him from the back. So, I got just got to be really careful. I'm sleeping a little bit on my linear charge rifle, or linear rifle's ability to stagger. Right, get out, get out.
That was a terrible shot. That's okay, though. We'll get him. God, he's even not vulnerable to top attacks. It has to be from the back. That's annoying. out of boost juice. This is really bad. Okay. Fucked up the reverse. Die. Was that all deflected? I actually have no idea. This boss is obnoxious. There we go. Okay, this is not the mission I thought it was, but I think this is still a pretty good place to stop. Ouch! Those are some expenses. So I just want to quickly show Ray um, a little bit of this, including the image editor. You can work on making your own little decals. And so I've been, <laughs> between missions, I've been working on making a little Pika. A Pika emblem. Oh my god. And here is, so we can customize our mech. So you can customize the two hand and shoulder weapons. Um, and then you can customize the head, core, arms, legs as well as the booster, fire control system, and generator. The two most important things are usually the generator, because that determines your weight versus like how much power you produce, and power is used by all the different parts. And your legs, your leg type uh, chooses how you like move around. So like regular bipedal legs are just kind of like all rounders. Reverse legs are all about uh, jumping into the sky, basically um because they get they get like really good jumps for free and they're all about like maintaining mobility which is pretty cool and there's also tetrapod legs which are four four legged uh things and they get they get good hover and then the tank treads i think just go really fast and you can like drift with them but we haven't had access to any yet do we have access to well we do actually have access to both tank treads as well as Tetrapod. As someone who likes charge weapons, Tetrapod legs are probably pretty good. Um, tank treads, I think like the really big thing about them is that they, uh, they allow for like a lot, you can like carry a lot of really heavy weapons on them. I'd wave it as a flag, nice. And we can sell any weapons we're not using uh, and buy them back at cost. So it's very forgiving as far as like 
if you want to mix and match stuff, just like sell parts you don't need and get them back. What the fuck is this? It's a pulse gun. Destroys targets with high, sustained high frequency oscillation, making it especially suited for canceling out pulse defenses, which use the same technology. Huh. There's a laser blade. That one's new. As well as basically everything we could equip on our right hand. Back units, missiles, as well as like laser cannons. And all that fun stuff. New shield. Features relatively long initial guard duration, reliably cancels out enemy fire. Okay. Interesting. And a bunch of missiles. What's this? That's a homing missile. Eight vertical missiles, two cell missiles, four cell missile. A bunch of heads, including this thing. I, I like the look of this one, but it's basically designed just to be like a really, really light head that doesn't have a lot of armor on it, but doesn't like weigh a lot. So you can just kind of stick it on any build that needs some uh, reduced weight. For long distance cruising. Um, no, I don't think we want those. We want good upward thrust on our boosters. Medium range assist. This might actually be a fire control unit to look into. Uh, overburden. Yeah, we have to shed some light. Touch pods are something they have super low recall on them, too. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you can um, do additional stuff. Tetrapod and tank. We'll look at those tomorrow, I think. I think three hours is a pretty good place to call it here. I don't think there's a save option, is there? Nope. So it must automatically save. So I'm just going to go. Oh, save game and quick application. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mentioned. Hello, Goose. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying Armored Core 6. Uh, it took me like four hours to get it working, and then it just suddenly started working. So that's cool and fun. Uh, so I'm a little bit behind everyone, but I hope everybody, I hope you've been having a good time with it. So thank you all so much for tuning in to tonight's stream. Apologies, it started an hour later than usual, but like I said, I was having really hard, like a really, really hard time getting this game to not like stutter constantly for some reason. Um, so it all worked out, and let's talk about what we're doing the rest of this week, and uh, send you off to somebody else. So, what, we're, uh, what are we doing the rest of this week? Well, you'll never believe it, but uh, tomorrow at 7pm Pacific Daylight Time or 10pm Eastern Daylight Time, we'll be playing some more Armored Core 6. Um, we're making a name for ourselves. we're getting some new mech parts, uh, things are going pretty well for us, so let's continue it. On Saturday uh, at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time or 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I'll be taking part in a Deep Rock Galactic collab. Uh, this is specifically as part of Fizz's donation goals incentives to do a drunk stream of Deep Rock Galactic. Uh, I'm not going to be drinking anymore because I think I did all the drinking I ever needed to do in my life for that first Soul Calibur stream, but I will be joining and uh, mining some minerals, shooting some, some bugs, and doing some rock and stone. So. I hope everybody can tune in to the should, which should be a very exciting time. Will your dwarf drink? Dwink, dwink, dwink though? Yeah. They'll dwink. Um, I don't know if I will... Ugh. I don't know that I will have them drink almost to the point of blacking out, because doing that once with you, Ocean and Cat, was uh, more than enough for my poor eyes to handle. Uh, but we'll see. On Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time or 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, more Armored Core 6. So this game just came out. I've been waiting for this game for a very long time. So we're going to saturate this week with it. And then next week we'll bring back uh, things like Paper Mario. Don't worry, it's not going to be gone too long. And then on Monday, just for a break from all the Armored Core, at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time or 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, we'll be playing through uh, some more Finding Paradise. So we're still in the middle of a job for uh, Colin, and but th his memories are really, really weirdly connected. Something seems like it's not a typical job. So we'll see what happens uh, on then. Is this game that that good? I never played one. 
Armored Core Six. It was really good. Uh, I I had a lot of fun with it, and we're gonna be doing some more tomorrow. But um, good to see you, Replicant. Hope you're doing well. Hope your streams are going well. Your Dokapon Kingdom streams. Any Atelier streams that you might be doing. Shout outs to Replicant there, as well as everybody else in chat who streams. We love you all. Pat, Ocean, Replicant, Rays, Goose. Clownspin, I don't think you stream, but if you do, I apologize. I, I need to clearly go look. Just woke up, so I say jumping over a tank for 20 minutes. Yeah, that boss was kind of annoying. Um, he was only vulnerable to damage like from the back, not even from the top. So it was annoying to like have to get to him. Most most bosses are not that annoying. Uh as like to be able to do damage to them. But um yeah, I prom I promise you came in at a time where it was just kind of like, oh boy, I love to to do that for 20 minutes. Um but you can see some more tomorrow. I think it'd be easier with a big sword. It absolutely would, because swords I swords penetrate armor. So if I had brought a, a sword to that and then attack from the side, that that mission would have been a lot shorter. But I was like, no, I want to try something else other than a sword in my left hand. And I paid for it. But enough uh, messing around. Let's go ahead and find who we can send you off to on this, this Thursday night. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And, uh, oh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I think they're a little bit further into the game, but let's go ahead and raid over to Hobo Sapien, who we raided last time playing on guard, who is also playing some Armored Core 6, uh, Fires of Rubicon. So thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you back here for some more Armored Core 6. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.